Happy New Year, everybody. Time to pop open the bubbly. Now you may be wondering, can I have champagne as part of a low carb lifestyle? Will a glass of champagne kick me out of ketosis? Are there keto friendly, low carb substitutes for champagne? We'll discuss and answer some of these questions in this video. And remember, please drink responsibly. To find the answer to the first question, I went to the Comité Champagne, which as you know relegates the name Champagne to those sparkling wines produced in the Champagne region of France. From their winemaking website, you can see the different types of sugar content within the different types of Champagne, with the least amount of sugar and the Brut and Extra Brut versions. But how does that translate to a typical serving of champagne that we would have for New Year's? So here's the nutritional information for a five ounce serving of Brut Corpel sparkling wine at two net grams of carbs per serving. Another commonly found version is the Corbel Extra Dry, and this has three net grams of carbs per five ounce serving. So great news, a glass of champagne, especially Brut or Extra Brut, is perfectly fine for a New Year celebration. But if you're looking for a beverage with even lower net carbs, close to zero, I've got a recipe for you. Here I have two glasses and I'll be making a non-alcoholic version on the left and an alcoholic version on the right. So first in each glass, we'll have half a teaspoon of lime juice. You could also use lemon juice and that will work just fine. Next, we'll add a few drops of liquid stevia to each glass. For the non-alcoholic version, I add about four drops and I find that gives it a nice sweetness. For the alcoholic version, I end up adding eight to 10 drops to counter some of the bitterness of the alcohol. Now for the alcoholic version, I'm adding three tablespoons or one and a half ounces of a clean vodka. This is to ensure that the flavor mimics a champagne as close as possible. However, you can use other spirits as you desire. Since we're using a 40% alcohol or 80 proof liquor in a five ounce glass, one and a half ounces gives that 12% alcohol by volume that you see in typical sparkling wines and champagnes. Last, we'll add sparkling water, flavored or unflavored, until we hit five ounces, which is just over half a cup. And that really is it. These are now ready to drink. However, if you wanna be extra fancy, you can add one drop of red food coloring to each glass and watch the art happen right in front of your eyes. When mixed up, this will look more like a pink colored drink, similar to a Brut Rosé or a Rose Champagne. Isn't that just one of the prettiest things you've ever seen? All right, time to stir it up and give it a taste. There's that rose sparkling wine color. Cheers everybody, drink responsibly and have a happy new year. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a happy new year.